So today, what's the plan for today? Well, thankfully, thankfully it's a rest day, which I am very, very happy about. I've had three hard days now, and my legs have just about had enough. But I'm gonna start today just by nipping into town. I've got a few jobs to do, a few errands to run. Let's do that now. So I just called into Merlin Cycles, they're quite a big online shop. If you're from the UK, you might have heard of them. But anyway, I called into Merlin Cycles because yesterday I changed my gear cable because it was a little bit stiff and I've none left. I always like to keep a couple of spare gear cables at home. So I just got a couple. That way when they break, I can just quickly fix one. I don't have to go to the shop to buy a new gear cable. For the sake of a couple of quid per cable, you might as well have one or two spare at home. Back home now, back in the office, and um, I often get asked about my training, so I'm going to do a little bit of a talk about about my training, uh, how I train, what I do. So if training and training programs aren't something you're into, just skip to this time code here. But for those of you that are interested, listen on. So we're in December now, and my road race season doesn't start again until about March. So that is about three and a half months away from this current date. So the majority of my program consists of strength training and base miles, endurance base miles. At the minute, a typical week for me would be Monday, rest day. Tuesday I would be in the gym doing some strength training, some squats, that kind of thing. Wednesday, Wednesday would be a turbo session probably in duration of about one hour. Now this would include some harder intervals, some four or maybe five minute intervals. And then Thursday would be maybe two or three hours out on the road bike just doing endurance miles. Friday would be another rest day. Saturday would be a road ride of about three hours but with some tempo intervals. So not, not dead hard but just just see, so still pushing on and it, it just keeps the legs firing a little bit. And then finally, Sunday will be my long ride, so maybe four, four and a half hours endurance, no intervals, just getting the miles in. And you might be thinking, whoa, 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 hold on a minute. Why are you doing an interval session? It's December. Why, why are you doing five minute intervals? And well, the simple answer is time. You read all these articles about how important it is to go out and do all these base miles and how you shouldn't be doing any intervals up until the new year. The only hard stuff you should be doing is zone three out on the road ride. But this is okay if you're a full-time professional cyclist and you've got all day every day to train, you can go out and do long rides all day every day. But for the majority of us, like you, like me, we don't have all the time in the world. So to substitute all these long rides, you can do it in a shorter turbo session, one hour in length, but include some intervals just to keep the legs ticking over. So that's pretty much my December training program. As you can see, it's a little bit of everything. And then once the new year passes, once we get into January, I will start increasing the high intensity stuff a little bit more. So whereas currently I'm doing one hard, hard interval session a week, after the new year, this number will increase to maybe three rides a week and those intervals will be incorporated into road rides. And then the tempo training will also increase, which will bring the leg speed up ready for racing. But I'll talk a little bit more about January training when it's January. So there's been quite a bit of rain for most of the day, but it's stopped now. It's still wet on the ground, but the rain stopped. So I'm gonna head down to the cafe. Oh, now I'm ready to head out for a coffee. So I was actually thinking about riding to a cafe, like putting my kit on and riding to a different cafe. But after waking up this morning, my legs were so, so tired. So I'm just gonna go to the one at the end of the road. Our souls 
So, to give you a bit of context here, every bit of footage that I take with my cameras, I, I put it on a hard drive and I store it. I just like to save the work that I've created, that way I can go back at it review old footage. So I archive all the footage on these hard drives here. I've got two hard drives here. These are one terabyte each. This here is my old one. It's got all the Thailand footage on. And this is the one that I'm currently using. Now this is practically full. It's probably got another two weeks worth of footage to go on before it becomes full. And as I've mentioned, I'm going away to Spain in January training. So I need to get a new hard drive to take away with me. I'm just picking someone up on the way to the shop. You all know who this is. So we're back in the car with Ed. Last time we were with Ed, we actually came to Curry's as well. So we're going back to Curry's today to get a hard drive. You all seem to like the third person vlogging last time. So I thought we'd do it again. So the last two hard drives that I got that I showed you have been one terabyte, but I'm thinking I might get a two terabyte. Even though it's more expensive, the price of two one terabytes is more than the price of one two terabytes. So if I'm thinking long term, it's more cost effective to get the two terabyte. That's the coolest story I've ever heard in my entire life. That's insane. Is it, can I hear it again? So we've got all of these spaces in the car park. The car is practically empty. And where does this person decide to park? right next to us. Happy Christmas everybody! <laughs> <laughs> New hard drive. So one question I occasionally get asked in the comments section is do I have a Facebook page and the answer has always been no, but I've decided this evening that I would set up a Facebook page. So if you want to give the Facebook page a like, I will drop the link in the description down below. It's probably the form of social media that I use the most. The link's just facebook.com slash cycling cam. So if you want to stay up to date with whatever I'm doing, click the link in the description and give the page a like. But that's going to be the end of today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please smash that thumbs up button as always, and I'll see you tomorrow.